Okay guys, so today we're going to make this bobsleigh track. It's made out of cardboard and toilet roll tubes and tape and a glue gun if you have one but it's not necessary. So the first thing you're going to need to make is this cardboard triangle. It can be as large as you want depending on how steep you want the first part of your bobsleigh track to be. Now it's really important that you cut two of these cardboard triangles out because if I show you from the side that's what's going to help you lift that first part of your bobsleigh track which is going to give you the most momentum to send whatever you are sending down your track all the way to the very end okay so I'm going to show you how I piece together my one using the toilet roll tubes cutting them in different ways sticking them together attaching them to this cardboard triangle frame and sending them down to the end of my track. Okay. Now the tunnels of your bobsleigh track are actually just made from cardboard tubes like this from toilet rolls or kitchen roll, um, kitchen roll tubes. So I've painted mine already before I wanted to cut them. I decided I'd paint them all and then when I cut them up I won't have to paint it at the end. And I just chose to paint them in the Olympic colours. So I have yellow, black, green, red, blue and I do have a purple one here. And I've got a really long one which will be the star of my bobsleigh track, okay? There are several different styles of tubes you can make your track out of, and I've used, it, used a large selection. So you could use a whole tube like this one, and this is particularly useful when you're going down a really deep slope like this, and at the start, that's why my main purple tube is in one piece. You can also choose to cut your tubes to take a piece out of the front like this, and then you can see the car as it slides through it. This is really useful if you're more on a level piece of your track, um, and it makes it simple to attach it to another piece, okay? So, I've got a whole piece and a cut piece attached together here, and that's already part of my track. The hard part when it comes to making your track is making pieces that turn, okay? Now I'll show you one piece that I've already made and then I'll show you cutting up the tube together how you can make a turning piece of your track. So here is the start of my track, the purple tube. Like I said, it's going to go down that sharp slope of my triangle here. I'm going to attach it like this. Then I've got this piece which kind of lifts up a little bit and turns, which will help me when it comes to this point in my track. I don't know if you can see it properly here, but when I cut up the tube, I'll demonstrate. I took one tube and I cut it into three pieces, okay? Then I slotted the three pieces together and squished them, used a little bit of tape to connect them together to make a turning portion of your track. Now, if you wanted, this piece could sit like this, like an elbow. It could sit up and, and make your cart fly upwards or downwards, depending on how you angle it, okay? So I'm going to show you how to cut a piece like that and then I'm going to slot my tubes together just playing with my triangles and making my cart go different directions and you'll see how I make my track really easily just out of these tubes, okay? So to make a turning elbow for your track, you're going to cut one whole tube into three pieces. So I'm going to cut them quite evenly. I've made some little marks and I'm going to cut them. Now, I'm going to cut them in a way which gives me almost like a slice of pizza shape in the middle. So I'm going to flatten my tube just ever so gently. I'm not going to squash it completely so that it's no longer round. And I'm going to start to cut diagonal. So I'm starting at the top of my tube where it's very narrow. And I'm going to cut along to a wider part. And you should be left with a piece that has this slanted angle, okay? I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to start at a narrow point like this from the top section of the tube that's closest to me and I'm going to cut into a wide piece. So I will have two pieces of tube that look like this. Can you see that slanted edge? Then I've got this piece which looks a bit like a piece of pizza. If I round it out, you can sort of see that when you fit the tubes together, you can start to make angles with these tubes. So depending on which way you want to uh, position your track, here I've got a tunnel which curves around like a semicircle. If I change the angle, I can make the tubes go up and I can direct the car upwards like this. Okay, 
So I'm going to put together pieces of my track. I'm going to show you how I stick them to my cardboard triangles. You may use tape for this, but I'm going to use my glue gun just because it's a little bit quicker. Okay, good. Here we go. So working a little bit quicker here, I'm taking the pieces that I just cut. I've got my glue gun. I'm putting a little bit of glue inside and I'm threading one inside the other. Now you'll notice there's a little section that peeps out like this. I'm going to take my pair of scissors, give it a snip so there's a little bit of a fold there and I can squeeze it inside. You can also use tape for this. So if you don't have a glue gun, you can use your tape. Once you've done that, again, I'm showing you, I'm cutting a little snip on the side so that it creates a little um, fold that I can squash one inside of the other to get them to fit together. You can fit as many pieces together like this as you'd like. Again, you can use tape to fasten the sides, just like that. I'm adding the last piece of this elbow joint onto the end. And again, I'm going to fit one inside of the other. So I'm going to take a little bit of glue onto the edge of one of the tubes, the one that is sitting inside of the other one. And I'm going to squash them together. Now I'm not squashing them completely so that they lose their round shape. I'm being really careful. And you can see I've left a little dobble of glue on the top there. A um, little bit messy, but that's okay. Again, you can use tape for this. Um, I like using a mix of both. Tape is really nice and strong for this. Um, so you can use either tape or glue. Get rid of those horrible stringy bits of glue. Make sure you tape both sides so that your tube stays together. Just like that. And you've created a little elbow piece to help your car or whatever you roll inside your tubes turn. Attaching it to one piece is pretty simple. These pieces where I've cut out a section of tube, they're easy to attach to. I run a little bit of glue on the inside rim and stick my elbow piece into it, but it depends on what you're working with. You can also use tape or a stapler to staple the sides of the tubes together. Just like that. I slowly started to build up my track and so I started to play with what I wanted to add next onto my chute. Here I'm attaching the slope or my cardboard triangles to the first part of my bobsleigh track just so that I could see what it would look like. So I have squashed some glue onto the edge of my triangle and I'm now holding to fix my tube onto the triangle here too. I'm using two triangles, so I'm going to use them like a frame to support that front section to keep it lifted. So to attach my second triangle, once the first one was dry, I added a little dob of glue here just to give me a little bit of support to keep it together. I created a little frame shape, making sure that the space at the bottom of the triangles was a little bit wider than the top part where they meet. I held the glue on to the tube and the triangle, but I found that I added a small amount of glue on the side. It didn't really work that well, so I added a little bit of tape and it fixed much better using some tape. There you can see my A-frame in shape. It's holding the tube upright. Um, Make sure that you allow the glue to dry if you're using a hot glue gun because um, it will start to fall apart if you don't, um, which is why tape is a little bit easier to use. And you'll see here, I'm taping the tube to the uh, triangle itself. Just like that. I made sure I secured both sides and it was pretty strong, it stayed together. So I took this red tube and I cut a triangle wedge off of the end of one piece and that allowed me to attach it to my elbow joining piece. Now I decided I really liked the pieces of the track where you could see the car or whatever was rolling down the sled um, through the tubes. So I cut a window out of the top and this makes it really easy to thread two pieces together because this part is easy to widen and stick over your turning or elbow pieces. So 
I really liked the way my track was going and I just started to build on and build on and build on. So here you see I have two pieces of tube that I'd already stuck together and I'm going to glue this one simply to the red one, just like that. I found that I used a mixture of tape and glue and this made my track nice and stable. From this point, you're just going to keep building on your tubes until you're happy with the track itself. So I just kept adding and adding and adding until I was happy with it. I kept gluing and sticking on tubes together, cutting sections out so I could see the track running, pulling it back and seeing if I liked it or not. Here I'm adding another window piece using another red tube. So in terms of what you can use as your bobsled, I've taken this really cheap little toy car um, and as you can see, I've decorated it like a very special team from the Olymp Wim Winter Olympic Games. This is the Jamaican bobsleigh team, just like from the film Cool Runnings. So um, you can decorate your little car on um, whatever you like. I just painted this using acrylics. Um, if you don't have a car, you could use a marble. You could use um, any rolling ball that you would like. You could try different things down your bobsled and see if they go faster or slower. But I just chose to use this little car with little wheels on it and it was fairly simple to paint it. So have a think about what you might use as a bobsled. Okay guys, the moment of truth for our bobsled team. On your mark, get set, go! Woo! Now depending on what you roll down your bobsled, obviously you can make it go faster, you could try marbles or bouncy balls. You could try different types of figure cars, whatever you would like. Have a go at constructing your own bobsleigh track and let me know how it goes. Have a good day, guys. See ya. Bye.